everyone. So a little bit of a hiatus, just a little tiny one. Um, you guys, I've had people ask me where I've been and I'll just tell you, I was in a really big makeup rut, like a huge one. Like I couldn't even think of any looks to do and it was just really just frustrating and hard. Um, but then I went on vacation to Hawaii. You can probably tell because of my additional freckles maybe. I don't know if you can really see them. Um, but yeah, and so that's where I've been, but I'm back. And while I was gone, I ordered the Venus palette by Lime Crime. Ooh, all its glory. Um, but yeah, so I haven't even unpacked, but I decided to play with this guy and I decided to film it for you guys to kind of, you know, just go along with me. I had no plan with <laughs> this tutorial, just kind of winged it and went along with it. But I hope you guys really enjoy this look. So if you want to see how to achieve it, then let's get started. Okay, quickly before we get started, I wanted to give you guys just a little rundown on the palette. So this first shade is Venus right here. It is a sparkly kind of medium pink. Shell is a very beautiful orange um, color. This would be a great highlight on darker skin tones because it does have that gold undertone, so it's not going to pull ashy. Oh gosh, I don't know how to say this next one. Aura Aurora, um, this lightest shade right here, it is so pretty and it's what I have on my inner corners just a little sneak peek um but yeah so creation is that kind of warm burnt brown color that everyone is loving right now and it's super pigmented icon is the oh, there we go icon is the darkest color in the palette um but yeah that one's I like that one it's what I have on my lid gosh I'm giving away all my secrets um rebirth is a very bright I would describe it as a flamingo pink where is it right here right here. It's um, kind of a flamingo pink. It's a little bit on the orange side though, so keep that in mind. Divine is the only cool toned color in here, and I think that really balances out the palette really nicely, and it will flatter a bunch of different skin tones and skin ranges. Muse. This guy is my favorite color, I think, out of this whole palette. Don't quote me yet, but it looks so pretty, and it's kind of that cranberry bitten color. It reminds me a lot of Bitten by Makeup Geek. But yeah, it's so pretty. I've already primed my eyelids with Painterly Paint Pot by MAC and I'm going in with Divine and it is the only kind of cool toned color in the palette and it's going to be perfect for our transition shade. So I'm taking a little bit on a blending brush and I'm going to start in the outer corner using circular motions. I want this shade to be the softest since it's going to act as a transition shade. So now I'm going to be taking Creation, which is insanely pigmented. I'm going to be applying this into our crease, and it's okay if it gets a little bit kind of on the lid. It'll help make that transition to the lid color a little bit easier. I'm taking the Zoeva 227 brush for this. And I literally picked up the tiniest amount because this is, like I said, super pigmented. I'm just going to be working in circular motions like before. Okay, I switched brushes because that one just wasn't doing it for me. So I'm switching to the 224 by Zoeva. I'm picking up a little bit more of that product. And we don't want to take this as high as the transition shade went, just because we just want that soft kind of blown out look. And then if you want to, just take that blending brush that we used before for the transition shade and just kind of buff it all out. And little by little, I'm just adding more color. Now on a flat stiff brush, I'm taking Icon, which is the darkest shade in the palette. And I'm going to be applying that with a flat brush, and this is the E57 by Sigma. I'm just going to be tapping off the excess and then just patting that guy all over. And 
And then on the tip of that brush, just like that, I'm gonna be just kind of dotting that in the crease just a little. And then we're gonna go in and blend it out. I'm going back in with that same brush and a little bit of creation. Just running it over. I'm gonna be moving on to the inner corner and as you may know, I love a really highlighted inner corner. So I'm gonna be taking, ooh, Aura, Aura, A-U-R-A, Aura, I think, and a small um, little brush like this. It's from Louise Young, the LY09 brush. And Aura, Aura is the lightest color in the palette. And it's, oh, look at that. Look at that, oh my god. This would be a really pretty cheek highlighter too. I really like my inner corner to be kind of blown out. So if you don't like that, you can just kind of concentrate it right in that little tear duct area. I'm going to pop some on my brow bone as well while I'm here with the same brush. Moving on to the lower lash line, I'm taking a little bit of Icon again with an angled brush. This one is by Zoeva and it is the 317. And I'm just going to apply this kind of tightly to my lash line just because we have so much kind of darkness going on that we don't want to drag our eye down. So I'm going to keep this pretty close today. But I will go and blend it out. Don't you worry, girl. I'm taking a clean pencil brush, even though this is a little bit stained. This is the 230 Pencil Brush by Zoeva. And I'm just going to use this to kind of diffuse the color just a little bit. I'm going to be lining my waterline with a brown eyeliner. This one is from Zoeva. It's a Zoeva day today. Um, what is the name? Glance. It is a really creamy eyeliner. I love these guys. So I went in ahead and applied some mascara. The mascara I used was from M, and it is um, the Lash Gallery Mascara, and it's actually becoming one of my favorite mascaras just because of the brush. I'll show you guys really quickly. Let me find, there we go. So I really like this brush because it kind of tapers in towards the inner corner, and as you can see, it has a little bit of a curve, so it kind of fits your eye a lot better. And I feel like it kind of just coats your lashes really well. For the finished look, I decided to pair it with a dark lip. I mixed Wicked and Salem by Lime Crime as well. And I wanted this tutorial to be the main focus on the eyes since this palette just launched. And it's pretty cool if I do say so myself. So yeah, that is it guys. If you have any requests, um, go ahead and feel free to leave them down below. Wow. And um, as always, all products mentioned and used will be in the description bar. And please don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.